All right, so it's a bit of a shorter match here. Slugfest between YHS and A. We're starting out with performance from Kanae. Pretty much the only good way for her to prepare plots anymore. Um, since the attack was nerfed, composition, I believe it was called. Theoretically, there's also the special, but I, I don't. Well, there's not a lot of Kanae players lately, to be fair, but I don't really see that broad ever. So it takes the full turn. No recovery action. Ops not to take the focus action. There is a a non recover action you can do on that also. Oh, no, I'm mistaken. Took the forward movement action, and then he had to move um, a pedal from Aura to the plot. Excuse me. Oh, never mind. Composition's the, the moving one. Never mind. I'm wrong. Okay, 1-1, one, one, getting an arrow effect. We have not bloom coming out. I just opts to take this to Aura, which I found interesting. And Pact of Glass is upgraded to a Covenant of Glass. That was a bit of a, an accidental move up on the plot progression there. It should have only gone up by one. Got so Yurina moving up. No attacks this turn, though. Probably Astro Claw and Grim Edict on the bottom of the deck. For sure, they'll be online for the last turn on the first shuffle, though. Generally, it's not too hard to get to range four. He moves forward twice and opens with Astral Claw. Um... Taking this to Aura... This is a super easy three reflections for your A. Just has to focus once. Three, four. So, obviously, this is incredible. Incredibly gross, but he just had to leave himself somewhat vulnerable to make a play like this. When we get to range three next turn, it's only going to have two actions. Mm, the act increases, and he takes a basic action. Now it's an act value zero. He went to purple zero. Here.
thinking about reflections a little bit here. Really. Okay, Phantom starting back. Probably thinking about whether to Astral Claw play one of the cards at this range. Okay. Overall, yeah. Okay, doing the combo. This is uh, effectively a card and two flare to immediately deal three or damage. That means A will basically have no choices as to what he deals, what he, how he handles any attacks from uh, YHS for the rest of this turn. Astral Claw, that's going straight to life. And look, that other flare is even out, so that's fairly well planned by YHS. Um, yep, and now you can focus once and get two reflections for a 3 3 Grim Edict. It takes, a, it takes a bit of time to work out your reflection plans, but very rewarding when you, when you land them like that. And of course it's awkward in a Yatsuha Mirror match because when you make reflections for yourself, you tend to have them for your opponent too, but in this case, because it's uh, Kane and Yatsuha A1, A doesn't have a really good way to lower his flare down to uh, match his opponents. Although in this case, I think there is one Kane special that will bring his player into alignment. Kamakura is going to take another two life here. It's pretty painful. Nothing you can really do about that. All the flare in the world for your A2. No reactions card. And this kind of just locks A out of ever getting a um, solid collection attack again. Just the, the economy advantage fully replenishing the flare. I mean, the aura while emptying flare. Very strong. And of course, the. Uh, Overall combo is back online now. Very dire circumstance for A. Um, can't imagine there's a whole lot he could do to get out of it, but 
Mob of Divas can hit like a trunk truck and packed with glasses online, so those are possibilities if you could ever get within reach of making reflections again. This pretty much has to go to life, otherwise you die. Unless you counter it, this actually might be an attack worth cancelling. Of course, if you cancel it, then you have to play around Astral Claw Graham Edict again. Still. And the odds that it's no, it's way too easy for YHS to make a flare reflection. So two, three, two is you have to take this to life and hold on to any cancels you might have. And if you don't have the cancel, then you're probably just dead here. And since you're out of cards, if you take any life damage, you're probably just dead here. Okay, Grim Edict has a 3-1. Yep, has to be cancelled. In this case, it would have been better to have cancelled the Slash, because then the flinch for Grim Edict would have gone into play, but... Then again, it would be a lot easier for Grim Edict to get Reflections if Slash was cancelled. And Brand just seals it. That's 2 life damage. And the GG. Alright. There's a slugfest. Yatsuha against Yatsuha is a quick game, apparently. 